Hey everyone, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we're going to be covering commas with introductions and transitions. So introductions and transitions are not exactly the same thing, but the rules for both of them are pretty much the same. An introduction would be something like on the way home, or after dinner, or in the morning. Introductions are used to give us a bit more background information or detail going into a sentence. A transition, on the other hand, would be something like furthermore, or also, or however. Transitions are used to, well, transition from one sentence to another. So how do these things work grammatically? Well, it's actually really simple. Anytime you start a sentence with one of these words or phrases, you've got to put a comma after it. Let's take a look. Before work, I always go to the gym. Now the real sentence here is I always go to the gym. The phrase before work just gives us a bit more information about the sentence. It's a setup. It's an introduction. So what do we do? Simple. We just put a comma after it, after the word work. Transitions are very much the same. Let's imagine we have the sentence, I like dogs. And then right after that is the sentence, however, I do not like cats. Well, however is a transitional word that joins these two sentences together. So all we need to do is throw in a comma after it. An important thing to remember though, with introductions and transitions, is that they are not sentences by themselves. They need complete sentences after them in order to make sense. So if you're writing these into your sentences, you need to make sure that there's a complete sentence after whatever introduction or transition that you are using. Let's try a few. When you get the chance, can you help me bring this inside? Okay, so what do you think here? Well, ask yourself, what is the real sentence here? The real sentence is this, can you help me bring this inside? Which means the introduction is that whole first part, when you get the chance. And that makes sense because that phrase sort of sets up or gives more information about the sentence before it really starts. So all we do is throw in a comma after the word chance and we're good. Couple more. I like hot dogs. Also, I like hamburgers. Okay, so what do you think here? You've got sentence number one and then you've got the word also which sort of leads into or transitions into sentence number two. So of course, all we gotta do is put a comma in there. That's it. Last one. After I take a shower, I need to go to bed. Okay, see if you can spot where the introduction ends and where the real sentence begins. And give yourself a point if you were to put your comma right here. After I take a shower, comma, I need to go to bed. Once again, very important. Just make sure if you're using introductions or transitions that one, you put a comma after them, and two, you have a full sentence after whatever introduction or transition you're using. Cool. Well, whether you came here for a refresher or just now learning this stuff for the first time, I hope this video helped. Be sure to check out the free practice down in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.